The tech, so uh, get your bag and go up to door 610. Yeah. Text him when you get your bag, go to door 610, and then he'll probably pick you up in a Cadillac, a CTS, a car. All right. Cool. I'll meet you at the gym. He's going to bring you here. Uh, you bring, you're bringing the Lambo and the truck to the gym, right? No, the la I can't drive two cars. <laughs> <laughs> you're coming no, you're somewhere. coming you're coming to the gym and then we're gonna go to my house he's gonna pick up george and then bring him to my house and then we'll take both of the vehicles to your house and then we'll come back to the gym and work on like three Jesus. or four what that's the that's the only way i can't drive two vehicles right. at once it's very difficult all right <laughs> all right later oh. all right Coming along, boys. Let's get up there. Hold on. Morning, see, we come in, we will be on the feet. I'll be late, I'll call you my lady. I'll be on my way to your store. All through night and morning. When you see God's love, you just got to see that for one bird. That is imposter. One good splash! Shadow box. And we got drop step, uppercut, one, two, non-stop. Go right back into your one, two after you get done. How are you? What? How are you? I'm good, good, how are you? Same step, a little lower. Good, lower ceiling, touch lower, Justin. Over exaggerate, right there, keep that. Keep that, yep, keep that, keep that. Yep. Good. And shorter steps, speed it up. Good. Shorter steps. Barely move your feet. Barely move them. Keep it. Keep it. Small. Right back to that step. Small. Small. And high steps. You have to be able to control, you know, what's going on in your mind. Some people, you know, have fear when they fight. Some people, you know, uh, uh, are are fear of not performing uh, uh, issues. Some people are are overly confident. You know, they're not winning fights, but they're they're still confident that they're going to be champion. Uh, Justin's one of those guys that he just has fun. He he likes to be pushed hard. Uh, he every time he has a hard sparring session, it's like he's the happiest. It's you know, he gets his release. He just enjoys chaos, and uh, the cool part is, is I can see him grow, and just to see him understand, you know, that, that how important it is to have a co coachability in index, and take things in and pull yourself back, you know, to be a, uh, the best race car driver doesn't mean that you, you have the balls to push that, push that, uh, that pedal to the floor. 
you have to be able to control that pedal and trust in the car and trust in your machine. And that's where he's is is becoming that intelligent, you know, race car driver where he understanding how his machine, how to handle his machine. Because I've, I've heard him three times this camp. He's like, man, I don't even want to come out to that song. They're asking what, what fight song he wants to come out to. And he's like, man, I don't know if I want to go out to that one. That one's going to get me too pumped up. So him understanding that energy level and how to control energy levels and also be uh, intelligent when he fights and also when he trains, you know, not to overdo it. Uh, he's warming up before uh, practices now. Like there's a lot of things that I'm seeing where he's really making a, an adjustment to his gifted mentality that he was born with. Like this is, it's something you can't teach when, when you have someone that just loves chaos like that. Like he, the harder it is, the scarier it is he enjoys and you just can't teach that. But you can teach them to understand how to control the flame. So that's where I've seen him grow the most uh uh from his mentality and uh i just when he's in control of himself i think he can control anybody oh god i almost got it god <laughs> this is what he did he tried not to hit me that's good you're good friend shake 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 good shake 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 good shake 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 good Speed it up. 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 Keep that. Keep that. That's back to movement. Right away. Hands are up. Close. I was 61. Was it? I didn't see it. But it didn't go to lunch for it either. Because I think you have to be all this time for a couple of seconds. got here in Denver today uh, do a little little workout with Justin just uh, like we all we always do when they get here we meet on the first day we go over what he's experienced uh, last couple of sparring um, anything that he needs help with or he's something he's building or feeling more comfortable you know today we just touch a little bit in everything we always done a little bit more uh, uh, be on top to ground and pound, that's, I think that's something that one of the, the strongest point Justin needs to explore in his game. Uh, at this point, he built up his game in grappling in a, in a good way that he can stay in the ground comfortable and, and take his shots and take his time. So I'm very happy for today. What? There's five meals there, I can't eat it all. Yeah, you'll try. And I'm gonna take some money and pool. It's definitely different. Um, so he usually t he usually takes like a month off after the fight, and then when um, I come back on with him, we get him back in shape, if you will. And uh, 
it's a little looser. And then there's kind of a three different phases in bike camp where like you start off just like really, really focusing on the macros and then it's a lot of micronutrients um, and a lot of um, superfoods, if you will. And then like right now we always hit this spot where like we can't keep weight on him because his body is like, obviously he's going to weigh more workouts, but his brain is also like burning a shit ton of more calories. Um, and so right now we're at that stage. So like I'll bring in, like I got some, um, organic mozzarella from the farm. I'll bring in just like a little bit more of organic fattier foods, like extra avocado and oats to the smoothies, and just kind of bulk out what we already make. Just keep the weight on him. Because we like to keep him heavy right up until the last minute. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so last week was a down week. Uh, we're really picking it up this week. I got Cosmo Alexander and George Santiago here from Florida. So we're going to be doing extra workouts. You know, we threw an extra one in last night on a Monday. Um, definitely, you know, keeps me, um, I can't be 100% right now. You know, we have to train. And uh, in order to be ready for five rounds, I have to train, you know, maximum capacity every single day, which is going to lead to the next day me not being um, 100%, and that's kind of the point. Um, you know, break the body down, break the body down, and then week of the fight, you know, we get to recover, and you know, everything kind of just comes together, and you know, I won't feel good till, uh, till fight week, which is the plan. Yesterday. Get up close. And it sounds like one of them tires is losing air. You get up close. The poor guy, I feel so bad for him. When he used to fight, dude, you would hear it the first, like the first three rows are like, bro, is he gonna die? Is one of those? Yeah. Oh, okay, he kicked your ass. He kicked your ass. You see that? That was bunchy. Is that? Ah, stay by the bell. Stay by the bell. I was just about to turn it up. I was about to get him. Yes. Sort of cross. Yeah, we we trained a little bit in Dubai when the Usman fought there, uh, and then uh, Justin was in Florida. We trained a little bit, but uh, yeah, first time here in Colorado. I mean, I'm happy. Uh, I love everybody here. Trevor, Usman, uh, Archie. So for me, it's a it's an honor to be here helping them. You know, and uh, I, I'll try to to help the way I can. You know, I I, I believe my Muay Thai, the things I do, they he can use in the fight. So I'm excited, man. I'm excited to see the way he does in the fight. Because the elbow is always close. So when you're far from the one two, you have to step. But if you're already here, you pop up. Cross. Long cross. Cross an elbow. So the cross. So Monday night, uh, George Santiago, our jiu-jitsu coach, and uh, Cosmo Alexandre, you know, Muay Thai champion, multiple, multiple times. Uh, came out on Monday night and uh, it's just so great to have them around you know it's that's like where 
where I kind of geek out. Just uh, I get to be a fan, you know, because I love both of those guys, their, their skill sets, their experts in their area. And, you know, get, getting to watch George, you know, work with Justin is, is always such a pleasure. And then getting to see Cosmo on, on the tie pads with, uh, with Justin, like, Man, he he brings so much to the table, and it's just again, I just sit back, I I giggle, I I, I see things that are tough for Justin, and and you know you bring in these different styles. There's so many different styles of kickboxing, but he is uh, a, an expert in Muay Thai, and just to see, you know, Justin, I wouldn't say he was having issues with it, but again, just from a balance standpoint, from the repetition, like that type of workout, anybody ever hits just tie pads, but in a tie scenario i'm not just talking you know you can do kickboxing mitts but you're throwing lots of punches the hard elbows the explosive motions always chopping having someone to hold the pads right where they're going against you and just just burning your hips looking at uh, justin's shins afterwards i mean it's that's where i where i geek out i just i just love to to watch experts and we're so blessed to be able to uh to have people like that you know willing to come help us and want to be a part of the team so it's super exciting. Uh, uh, I don't think we change anything of what Justin's doing, but again, it just it, it ignites a fire, and it couldn't be at a better better uh, uh, week with with us coming right back into hard peaking. So, uh, man, I'm just having a blast. I just sat back today, walked around, just really enjoyed myself. It's it's like uh, you know, I, it's like watching the seminar, being a part of the seminar. So, and it's fun. Everybody's in here, you know. That we've had like you know tons of guys in here every every day. So. Yesterday when, when he was sparring, it was just cool to see just the environment. So there's a lot going on this week, and it's, it's, it's really fun. And it's, it's, it's crazy that it's already tomorrow's Thursday, and it feels like it's only been a day or two. Yeah, it works. Work. Oh, you got hooks? Hooks? Okay. Hooks? Just hooks? Just hooks? All right, just hooks. Look at that. That was smooth. That was smooth. I'm shocked. I had a Lamborghini. Yeah, so Thursday wrestling day, um, always always fun when George is in town, Cosmo's in town. So, you know, we want to take advantage of that situation as much as we can because we only get so much access to George with him being in Florida. So, um, you know, just wanted to come come in and kind of go through some some drills, some wrestling specific drills, put them in some wrestling specific uh, positions, focused mainly on uh, shot defense stuff today. Um, you know, and introduced a couple new new things, and then second half I let George take it. You know, and he uh, kind of built off some of the positions that we had been doing um, in the first part of the practice, and you know, added the grappling component to it. So really, uh, really productive for everybody. Oh, man, I move. 
Oh! I got a stretch, so if you drive up this motherfucker, this is Steve Ass Hill. He's a comfortable one. This is Steve Hill. To be able to drive up this motherfucker? Shit. I know. I might not even use cruise control today. Well, we've had uh, George and uh, Cosmo here all week, uh, which has been great. So we're going to go watch fights tonight at Justin's house. But it was cool because we started the day off with a run at Red Rocks. And I didn't know if we would get a run at Red Rocks because it snowed yesterday. But that's what I love about Colorado. It was beautiful up there. We got up there about 10, 15, and everybody showed up. Archie, Justin Salas, Cosmo put on his running shoes and uh, ran the hill. It was just good to see everybody, you know, wanting to run with him. Uh, Justin hit his time in uh, 15 minutes and 15 seconds, which is really good. I think his top time he's ever done is 14.50, I believe is, is what we did. And that's really good for being this far out. Uh, then we came right back here uh, to Onyx and did foot footwork drills and clinching with Cosmo. So a lot on the back and the neck uh, uh, drilling technique, but while your legs are tired and, and the my goal was to just burn their legs out after a run. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's been such a good training, training uh, a week having these guys out here. And then tonight we get to finish with, with a little dinner. You know, Justin's going to cook some food for us and watch the fights. Uh, it was Cheeto Vera and uh, Sean O'Malley. So I'm looking forward to watching those fights. It'll be tough for me to stay up that late. I'm usually in bed by 8 o'clock, so <laughs> these late fights kill me. But I'm looking forward to getting everybody together. I think uh, uh, Archie's coming with his, his wife and children. Justin's house is coming with his, his wife. I believe Luke and the family's coming. Me and my wife will be coming. Uh, it's just going to be great to have everybody there. So uh, that Cosmo and, and uh, George right now are, are heading up to do a half day of snowboarding, which is really cool. You know, it's on Santiago. They did it a couple of days ago. Just loved it. So they're going to take advantage of that, meet us back at the house, watch some fights, and uh, send them back to Florida. It's been so, it's crazy how fast it went by having these guys out here. But uh, we learned so much. Uh, Justin, you know, stepped a lot of his, his Muay Thai stuff up. Uh, he threw some really killer knees in sparring uh, yesterday that he's not usually able to throw. So it's just cool to see how he can just test things and, and go try them right away in sparring. But it's just been... Such a blessing to have those guys out here. It's been such a great week, and man, I'm feeling so good about this fight. Um, I already made a prime rib. Making some potatoes, some Brussels sprouts, had some, some guacamole, and some salsa. Let's check these potatoes. Good job, Justin. Mm -hmm. Grab a plate, boys, girls. We'll play. Uh, we'll play three ball. If everyone's in, one dollar to get in. Lowest score wins. Everybody gets a turn. Whoever can make these three balls and the least amount of shots wins. Uh, as many people as you want to play can play. Everybody has to put a dollar in. One tie, all tie. If, so, if we tie, we put one more dollar in and go again. There's a process to being a there's a process to being a winner, Justin. It doesn't always come with with uh, honesty. Uh, I've been donating to Gacy for years. Dude, if you don't have cameras, that's one. You have no idea. Two. No. So that's two, three. One, two, three. This is number four. Damn, you sorry. <laughs> Stick to fighting.
That's right, like hopefully with four. Oh. You don't have to call anything in here. So I can do five. Nice. So five. Count my money. Party. One, two. That's that TRT, dog. Wow. Dude, you're like a bull. Wow, look at that. Yeah, yeah. How many times do you need to pull? What? All right, who's up? George, are you strong? That's what I did. It didn't work out for me. My dad's got, that's what my, my dad's got some weird. That's actually good lady. You guys are all strong. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, he's looking for three. He did it. Four. Oh, damn. The chalk is free, right? I don't have to pay for the chalk. I don't have to pay for the chalk. Hey, just for the record. Bitch!